Hey everybody, Bunny here. Thanks for joining us for the We Like Dota League Tournament Scene Night. We have a uh, match for you tonight, and uh, yeah, please follow me on uh, Bunny Data on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and uh, uh, Twitter as well. Uh, Co-casting with me tonight is Last Talon. Hey, Last Talon, why don't you say hello? Hey, what's up? <laughs> so where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Last Talon. I also stream at twitch.tv slash Last Talon, I believe it is. Yeah, the more pro stream of the two of us, so <laughs> good stuff. I put stuff up on YouTube, not as much lately, because I haven't been doing much, but I'm here now, so. Cool, man. Okay, so uh, tonight we have a game for you. It's a best of three tournament match, liking our chances versus uh, Team BS, yeah, as I'm going to call them for the for the night. <laughs> um, Five seconds. So yeah, it looks like we're in the draft screen. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'll change my settings. Okay, now I have my open mic on. Nice. Oh god, I hope I have mine on too. Let me check. And I have checked mute code broadcast. So let's... Open mic. There we go. Now I've got a mic on. Ten okay. Seconds to go. Perfect. Yay, we're so Pulse. pro. <laughs> um, we have a nice uh, ban on the Faceless Void and Death Prophet already. Yep. I'm a bit confused on the first ban on the Radiant side here for uh, that Shadow Shaman. That's a bit interesting. I'm, I haven't been around for the past couple matches. Has he been popular lately? I don't think he's really been popular enough to warrant a um, a, a, a class ban or a league ban. Radiant's but um, it might be a respect ban. Maybe they've seen something scary coming out of uh, liking her chances. Perhaps. And we have a Weaver ban. I can understand the Weaver ban, to be honest. Weaver has been pretty effective in the league from what I've seen. Silence. Yeah, I agree. Dyer's pick. Just in general, he's so frustrating to play against when he's uh, when he's played well. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, the Silencer pick coming out, Ogre match I pick. pick. Yep, both good things. Oh yeah, very good. Uh, disable with the Ogre Magi. I always like for that pick. Disable. And we yeah. have Shakiro following that up with the Ice Path. That's always a good combo. Yeah, that's a lot of Disable on one side for the first two picks. Oh yeah, for sure. I always like to see that. Mm -hmm. In the uh, Communion Night match that I was in on Wednesday, I drafted and that was one of the reasons I ended up picking who I did because I thought we needed more Disable. Oh, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds that makes a lot of sense. You played a good Zeus that game, by the way. I think I had a few comments on that. Yeah. Five seconds. I had fun with Zeus. I love that. Yeah, he's a good hero. He's so Radiant fun to harass Bam. people with because you can just kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's such good range. Sand King also very good disable and has a good deal of damage output on top of it. Yeah, should make some for, for some exciting team fights. I think. Um, oh yeah, for sure. I always like to see him blink in in Epicenter. Yeah, definitely. Dyer's and man. with that silencer, global silence, he can have a really good time of that because people are going to have a hard time uh, catching him out of that, I think. Yeah, that's very true. What do you think of um, picking a Jakiro into a silencer? Um, I don't think it's Ten that bad of a decision. Mm, it, I mean, like he, do, he is Five reliant seconds. on skills obviously but so are all supports i think you know you're gonna have a hard time finding a support Reserve who isn't time. going to have a hard time against the silencer that's very true other than that i think he has you know a decent time with mana he doesn't really have a whole lot of mana problems so the aspect of that with uh silencer the mana drain isn't going to be as much of an issue mm -hmm. the bigger issue i think with jakiro would be be if he was laying against him, like I was saying with the mana drain, would be the uh, the health issue. The, uh, the silencer does have quite a bit of harass, and if the Jakira gets harassed too much, he could go out. Yeah, I agree. The Ogre Mage, I don't think, would have an issue with the health in that aspect. I think he would have an issue with the mana, of course. Radiant. Ogre right. Mage has lots of mana problems. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And um, either of those two, I think, would have a tough time in lane against a silencer, just because oh, yeah, of his harass potential. But they'll probably pick up an answer for him later later here. 
I'm sure they're thinking about it. Uh, we do have the ban on the Skyrath. That's always Five a good pickup. Uh, or ban, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh -huh. Against the Silencer. You don't want them to pick Reserve up the time. Skyrath after that. Sure. We've it's seen a lot of play from Skyrath this game. Or, uh, or this league, yeah. So. Yeah. We have a ban on the Pug now. So it looks like they're banning a lot of push on the Radiant side. Yeah, it looks like it. And it doesn't look like they're going for, you know, a push Ten strategy themselves, so that should be interesting. They're making this in for a pretty long Dyer's game, bit. but they do have the Jakiro on the die already. That's a pretty good push when you get him around to push the towers. Yeah, that's they true. They kind of melt with him around. It's very hard to notice because it's a dot, but... Yeah, it is it is very subtle, but um, when, you, when you actually go back and look and watch the replays and everything and and see like yeah. why the towers fell it's yeah, always that damage over time or when you're watching it objectively like from a caster position it's it's pretty easy to Ten tell when you're watching those go. ticks just go off mm -hmm. like it's it's yeah, funny I, n I never see it in game and i always think like oh it's just a jakiro but then <laughs> later you go back and you're like oh my gosh look at all the damage you did yeah especially since every time the creep wave pushes into the tower he can just put the dot on the tower, mm -hmm. and it's going to melt, even if the creeps aren't paying attention to it. That's right. It just gives them that little opportunity to get in there and get the damage on it. Mm -hmm. And then just walk away like nothing happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and the tower won't aggro him from it. It wasn't long enough. Mm -hmm. and it looks like we have Dire banning Centaur here. I assume that means they're going to try and stop the other team from having an offlane. And that would make sense with I the Faceless Boy ban and the Weaver ban. Yeah, I suppose so. Do you think Centaur was really the um, scariest offlaner? No, but they do have a couple of offlaners banned out a bit already, like the Weaver. Like I was saying. Sure, yeah. So they have a couple of bases covered, but they do pick up the Tidehunter, who is a decent offlaner. For sure. Nature's Profit pick, though. That's kind of interesting. That kind of throws me through a loop as to what they're going to plan out here. I wonder who Ten Dyer is planning on putting as an offlaner if Nature's Prophet's going to be jungling. I would assume he is. Five he might seconds. not. He might not. Uh, we, should, uh, we could see a new strategy with uh, Nature's Prophet here where time. he's not going to be in as much of a jungling role. That could very well he's be. a great pusher. Razor. He is a great pusher. He's a great split pusher. He's also Razor. actually a decent offlaner. What I don't want to see, and I've seen this several times as a like alternate strategy to Nature's Prophet, is immediately having him push. It doesn't work. So, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, what right what's there. that? A push right off the right, right yeah, after the like, bell? Like yeah, just minute, oh. minute zero, start pushing. Oh like, no. It, mm, doesn't work. He doesn't no. get what he needs. He needs some farm beforehand. Ten seconds to go. Yeah, especially now that the uh, the treants got nerfed. Yeah. But people were doing that a little bit. It wasn't recently. It was a while ago. Okay. When people stopped wanting him to do him as a jungler as much, you know? Sure. We have the Razor pickup, though. I assume that's their mid. You know, I always thought Nature's Prophet would make an interesting mid. I've never seen that strategy, though. Yeah. But I thought it would be pretty decent because they, what, what's the other <laughs> mid going to do against your treants? <laughs> be scared. <laughs> <It's> pre harassed. <laughs> they, you can't kill them early on. Uh, I guess so. I, I don't think I've seen a Nature's Prophet mid since, like, low tier. <laughs> I've never seen it. And oh, I have. It would be a really interesting strategy, because you could just do whatever you want. Mm. And then TP back <laughs> to Fountain when you want to. Want to. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what could be bad about that? <laughs> Five seconds. I don't know. It would be a really cheesy strategy, I think. But I think it would be bad. hilarious. I think it would be funny. It wouldn't be the worst thing I've ever seen at mid, no, it, it but would be uh, decently viable. Actually, that's why I yeah. think it would be so interesting to see. I, I don't think it's quite pro, but <laughs> it's no, fine. I, it's, I, definitely, I definitely think it's easily counter. Yeah, I think it, it would work in a lot of situations. Just throw people through a loop. No, I suppose so. We have the witch doctor pickup here, or ban rather, and the wraith king pickup. Yes. Reserve time. So a lot of tankiness coming on the radiant side. Yeah, for sure. Looks like they're definitely building it to just a huge team fight. Yeah, they have some really good team fight here. We have Global Silence, Epicenter, excuse me, Ravage, 
on top of the Wraith King's, you know, uh, what's it called? The Vampire Aura. That's right. And we also have his Reincarnate, so he stays in the battle a really long time. We have some really good team fight on the Radiant. Yeah, and like three solid initiators as well. <laughs> so I can I can definitely see why they banned out so much push. Dyer's mm -hmm. back. That definitely makes a lot more sense now. If they're going for a good team fight, they want to for long the, the game. Team to team fight, yeah. You know? And that, you know, inevitably does mean a longer game. So For sure. We'll see how this goes. So how many blink daggers do you think Radiant's gonna pick up? <laughs> I see like three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all of them. All the blink uh, daggers. However <laughs> many they have in the shop. That's right. Ten seconds to go. You're gonna get like two on Sand King, um <laughs> No, just six slot all of them. Six blink daggers. <laughs> What was it? Pick. Was it like six Dagons or something? Oh, sure. That's, that's Why not? That's how it works. <laughs> cool down. No, it's fine. And Just put... The so they're <laughs> definitely trying to skew away from this team fight idea. Like, they're they're all very solo-y type heroes. Except for, like, Jakiro, I guess. Uh, yep. Fight, team fights too, Ten but, seconds to go. But not... <laughs> I mean, he's also decent alone, and I don't think they're going for that here. Yeah, I agree. I think Ogre Magi is also kind of a more of a team fighty. I, I don't he's, see him soloing. He's more of an assisty type here. He doesn't necessarily right. bring a lot to a team fight, though. Sure. Yes, that's true. And he can hold his own too. He's quite tanky now. Yeah. I've seen a lot of level one cheese strats with Ogre Magi because he's so tanky now. Oh, is that right? Because mm -hmm. you, you can just run into the other heroes and they can't do much against you. It's just how tanky he is now with his health or uh -huh. health regen or whatever. Base health regen now. At level one. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. An ancient apparition. Okay, so definitely some good team fight here. We have the ice ball to just throw on top of people. They can't do anything after that. They might as well try and run away, but they have Sand King and Tidehunter who can chase them down. Silencer who can help as well with his global silence to keep them from running away. For sure. Wraith King has a stun, I suppose. Never forget the Wraith King stun. <laughs> yeah, it's actually decent, you know? Yeah, especially when you have stuff to chain it with. Like, it's mm -hmm. it's a fairly short cooldown, actually. Like, Right, and what other tanky... Um... You know, carries actually have a ranged stun. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. I can see it going... I, I'm not sure go either way. Mid. I guess maybe Silencer or Ancient Apparition, then. Five seconds. Uh, yeah. I think I would rather do Silencer myself, but... Yeah, I think Razor might be better against Silencer. We'll see. Could be. Let me just run down the intros real quick. On the uh, Dire side, we've got on uh, Nature's Prophet, uh, Cake. Uh, running away from me is on the Chikiro, uh so, Oh, it's that name I can't pronunciate. Sicka Mechanico. Oh, maybe I got it. I, I can't tell. All right. So on Ogre Magi, we have CJ. Uh, Rough Edges is on the Razor. And uh, G1 is on the Nyx Assassin. On the Radiant side, we have Zellerate on Tidehunter. And a quick tri lane, uh, Plinker. Oh, a, a quick. Uh, Quint Lane. Uh, Plinker is on the AA and a Smoke. Yes. Uh, Ton is on the Wraith King. Austin is on the Sand King. And um, who did I miss? Fox and Socks on Silencer. All right. They're so hunting. Let's see how this is going to go. It looks like Silencer no targets. Given a single <laughs> shared tango. 30 seconds to show tango. Yes. I think they're just trying to invade this jungle to stop the Nature's Prophet. I think this was their intention with this. Look how many wards they're putting out, blocking all of these camps. There's not much anyone's going to be able to do about that. So the Nature's Prophet is either going to be forced to lane or go to someone else's. Ooh. Oh, wow. First spot on Ogre Magi right away. Oh, man, he was just surrounded. That was ugly. Yeah. And that, clearly, that uh, chilling touch, I had to check what it was called, going to work there. Yeah. It's insane in the early levels. It is, actually. Uh, at level 1, picking it up. And they really took full advantage of it, giving it oh, to yeah. all 5. Oh yeah, for sure. 
And we do have a dire ward here around the small camp on the Radiant side. That's going to be blocking that camp. Mm -hmm. So Nature's Prophet is really out of luck if he's intending to jungle here. He, his choices are really the Radiant jungle or laning. And he doesn't have a level 1 camp on either side. So That's he's right. going to have some trouble here. Yeah, and I don't think he quite realizes it yet. He's uh, he's still going for the jungle strat. Yeah, I d yeah, I don't think he has any way of knowing yet. He'll soon find out, though. Yeah. Looks like we have roaming ancient apparition, so that's like a decent strategy here. I think he definitely needs some levels, but he has a head start from that early on the Ogre Magi, so I don't think he's going to have trouble there at the moment. Yeah, I agree. And if you're going to have somebody roam, he's probably the best pick on that team. Oh yeah, for sure. I assume he's also end up going to be the 5 position here, so we'll see how that works out. He may be a bit under-farmed and under-leveled for a while. He's not going to be able to pull this camp either. No. Yeah, that's going to be a pain. That's right. A couple things going out too, but um, it was probably because of the absent camp there. He was letting him know. <laughs> All the things. He's like, uh, there's a word here somewhere. <laughs> I think he's going to see if he can pull this camp. I don't think he's going to get it. No. That's not going to be As... close enough to the creeps. They're going to ignore it. Yeah. Silencer is having a good time against the Razor for the time being. Good harass on him, but Razor already has his bottle. So does Silencer, though, so they're pretty even on that. Yeah, I think in this particular matchup, the Silencer is uh, has the advantage against the Razor. Now, one thing I'm very interested to see is what they're going to do with this dual lane with the Ogre Magi and the Jakiro. I'm not sure why they put those together. Maybe because they're the, the most static elements there. Actually, I didn't notice, but we have four wards out I, in this dire jungle. I did not see that, so... The Nature's Prophet is low health here. He's just finished fighting the one camp. He's going to go to another, but he's not going to find anything. No. Too much fail to find. He's wasting a lot of time, unfortunately. But Oh, and we have Razor getting some harass here while he tries to pick up a rune. He does have an invis rune, so... What do you think of a Nyx solo offlane? Yeah, that, I mean, that's kind of why I was wondering what they were doing with the uh, Jakiro and the Ogre Magi. I don't know if I necessarily like Nyx, or like Nyx solo offlane. Yeah. He's decent at offlane, but not necessarily being solo, because he really needs to get some farm in early. He's not very effective if he can't get that. Um, I don't know. Maybe they have an interesting strategy going on where they just need his levels. He definitely has those for now. Yeah, could be. We'll see how that goes. The levels definitely are somewhat effective on him. He, uh, you know, does have the impale and gets, has a good stun from it, so... Okay, someone's telling me they can't hear me on the cast. Hang on. Uh-oh. Let's try that. That work? Yeah, that works. Okay. Yay! Good. Nicely done. <laughs> good save. Oh, I'm so glad right. that they uh, they chimed in. Thank you for that, whoever the listener was. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> otherwise, I would have sounded like a complete crazy person just talking to myself. Yeah. I, I mean, more than normal. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sand King doing some jungling. I'm glad to see that. I love the Sand King jungling. He's really good at it, actually. If you can, you, you got to practice it. But if you can get good at it, Sand King is an excellent jungler, in my opinion. I, I absolutely agree. Him. It makes him really effective because he can get his own farm and get that blink dagger really fast. Especially if you have a tri lane like this going on. You know. Because then everyone else can get their levels too. Yeah. Um the uh the Sand King definitely has uh an advantage when he's when he's farming in the jungle if he can stack the camps too, so Yeah, for sure. 
No, looks like he planned for this. He had some extra clarities here, so he can just hang out and do his standstorm whenever he wants, really. And he is on his way to getting a blink dagger. He's halfway there, about a little over. Uh huh. Looks like we might still have an audio problem. Uh, I think people can't hear you on the on the uh, cast. It'll be two minutes for the delays for them. Oh, to I got gotcha. you. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. But yeah, it should be working now. I see the little thing popping up. It wasn't before. Oh, okay, gotcha. Weird voice activation issues in Dota. Yeah. But we definitely have a lot of harass coming out of this dual lane on the dire side here. They're decently harassing this tide hunter. He's at half health. He doesn't yeah. have a lot of items. It looks like he's going straight for blink dagger as well. So. <laughs> so we like, called it lots of blink daggers. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're really waiting to shine as soon as they all get blink dagger. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower? Looks like we've got some massing towards mid. Yeah. I saw the trance from Nature's Prophet come. He's only level four, still so that's going to be problematic for him. That's understandable given how much seven. he was denied farm. Oh yeah, for sure. But that's you know still gonna be tough for him. Absolutely. Especially if he's going for that uh, split pushing strategy here. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a problem. Looks like we got sight of the courier here. They're not gonna be able to stop it though. No, it's gonna get away. Ooh, and that razor is quite low. Look at him taking damage. It's just ticking. He's gonna die. Ooh, it stops. Oh, it. so and close. 18 health. 18 health. Wow. Meanwhile, we're counter harassing the silencer. He's gonna. Oh, he's gonna fall. Or nice. Instead, Jones. rather, the razor does get away. You really wanted that razor. I was watching him. Like, just you know, he was he was he pretty low health. Him. Yeah, he, he was really close. Yeah. But unfortunately, I mean, he paid for the dive. Yeah. That's it wasn't really even a dive. That, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the reason that Silencer is so difficult as far as harass goes, because it's it's very delayed, you know, you, you can't right. really judge it in the moment. You may think you're good to stay, you, you might not be good to stay though. Yeah. You may go down anyway. Yeah, it's almost yeah, like being poisoned or something, yeah. Him. Yeah. We do have the silencer come back right away. Going to continue harassing the Razor. Razor's already half health again. He was just in Fountain. They both came back. Yeah, how about that? Even yeah. after burning his bottle charges, he's still only about at half. But he's Radio he's on a on a rune. Oh, we have a disconnect on the Razor. That's, that's right. Not good. Nope. Well, that happens, I suppose. Maybe he had some issues with something. I don't know. Guess we'll take this time maybe to check over the items here. We have the Wraith King already with a hand of Midas. All right, carry on. That's a pretty fast Midas, I think. It's eight minutes. Yeah, anything but, under eight minutes is valid. Yeah, and he's already used it once, so he had it before. He's gonna use it again here. Radiance mid towers getting banged up. It looks like so they have an interesting. It. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he, he had it even before eight minutes then, because he had used it once. Yeah, nice. And that's a hundred second cooldown, so. There's some action in the bottom lane. Looks like they're going to go on the Ancient Apparition. And Ice Path comes out. Very quickly. Nature's Prophet in here is going to uh, sprout the Wraith King. But the Wraith King is already pretty strong. He's level 6, so he's not going to take on all these people himself. I don't know why he stayed. He's going to reincarnate. And he, he best be just hanging out near the tower here, I think. Yeah. He's going to need to call him some back. We have more action going on. Razor is almost down here. He goes down. Silencer gets the kill. We're going on Wraith King came to help. Looks like we're going to maybe get the Ogre Magi here. Wraith King is getting quite low though too. He's going to need to run away. Ravage comes out. Very good Ravage. Yeah, they have, definitely have the good team fights coming out. Jakir is going to be good to stop those for a while. But Jakir is getting low here too. And it looks like Sand King is harassing the Nyx while that's going on. Jakiro is going to oh. take from that, though. 
<laughs> silencer. Razor is coming back into the fight. He is going to steal all the damage from the uh, Sand King here. That's not good. Nature's Prophet all comes off. Sand King gets hurt quite a lot. We have Silencer. He's going to go down, <laughs> go down here too. That Kraken Shell is doing work keeping the Tidehunter alive though. Oh man, the reversals. <laughs> oh my. The Kraken Shell is doing so much work here. Oh. oh, but he goes down anyway. So is the Ancient Apparition. Here's the Wraith King going down again. Oh my gosh. The only one alive still is the Sand King. And he's going to go hide. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Wow, what a great team fight. I mean... I missed the fight recap. I was going to check that because yeah. it was a long one. It was, oh, yeah. It was ridiculous. But just the way They're it swung from one side to the other. Though. Yeah, they are. Oh, they want revenge. Look at him go. They're not going to let him push this tower, it looks like. They're going to... Oh, well, they are getting some harass on the tower. Looks like they're trying to... Yeah, tower's at half. But Silencer's not going to be able to do this by himself. That's not good. They're going oh to god, Silencer. He's going to need to get out of there. Doesn't have his four staff yet. He's not going to be able to get out of there. They're going to be able to just chase him down. The rest of the team is coming in here, though. Silencer Ooh. is going to get out just in time. He's going to pop his uh, Curse of the Silent. What one was it? I don't remember. On the Razor. Razor's going down. Sand King is quite low. He's going to get out, it looks like. Razor and Kira are both down. Looks like the Neeks is going, is going to go down as well. That was a great save by Sand King. Sand King is slowly getting away here. He's quite low. He has a Tango. Not sure why he hasn't used it. That would be pretty good to use here, I think. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that Nature's Prophet, his ult is up, but out of mana. Oof. This is very risky, because that... Mm. Oh, and he's stacking this camp even. Oh. <laughs> it scares me. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely played. Oh, put some harass on the silencer, it looks like. It looks like people are going back to their lanes, though. Okay. Ancient Apparition has his ult now. He's going to try and shoot it at some people. <laughs> I would imagine. That's usually the game plan. <laughs> I'm not sure where it ended up. Yeah, I'm not sure who, who I, caught I, it. I, yeah. I was only just kind of him. Oh, action at mid. And they definitely have great rotations here. Both teams, really. Looking yeah, so much mobility. They can mass. Looks like Razor is going to go down here. Oh, he's going to get away. Oh, the so low. Is down. That hurts so bad when an enemy walks away with, like, <laughs> health near 20. <laughs> Looks like we have the Ancient Apparition going for an urn here. It's probably a good decision. Like Nyx is looking for a fight. Five position, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Nyx still only really has his arcane boots. He's probably going for that Dagon still, but it's going to take him a bit. And Jakiro doesn't want this Ancient Apparition to deward. Oh, this is looking dangerous. He gets hit with the Ice Ball. Oh, so he much damage. Down. That Plasma Field just nuked him down for probably half his health there. Yeah, that ward is still up too. Oh, <laughs> insult to injury. They can see it, they just can't do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, they need someone to get over there. Radiant's bottom tower in a pretty sight right now. And it looks like we have four people here at mid on the dire side. They're going to try and push this tower in. Yeah, here they go. Not really a lot Tidehunter can do about it. The Wraith King is still sitting here trying to farm up against the Neeks. Neeks is also still trying to farm up. And we do get that ward taken out. That's good. Mm-hmm. Smoke coming out with the uh, Ogre Magi and the Razor here. Yeah, it looks like they're going looks after like... the Wraith King. Yeah. He's going to probably deny the tower and get out of there. Gives the radiant, their he does tower. have Might get cut off. Sand King with him. 
and the smoke does get diffused by the Sand King's presence. Running into the trees. Ogre Magi is still on him, so it's Ancient Operation. Oh! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, Wraith King does... Yeah, he does barely have what he needs to get that reincarnation off. Oh, but the epicenter. Oh my. That was a good save there. What was? Unfortunately, this Wraith King reincarnation is still only level 1. He has to wait a long time apart. for it to come back. Meanwhile, he needs to be a bit more careful. He does have that Radiant's wand, so I do know he's banking on hits. having that for when he needs to pop his reincarnation. That's always a smart but, play on Wraith King. Yeah, it's it's still quite risky, though. If you get stunned while that's going on, you can't get that mana back that you need to reincarnate. Sure. It's very, very difficult, especially with you know someone like the Ogre around when they can Radiant's just chain stun you if they want. That's true, but at least it gives you an option against somebody who might pick up like a Diffusal Blade or something. Yeah, for sure. Looks like there's going to be a fight at top. Action, yeah. mm -hmm. Ice Ball misses, so it looks like they're not going to go in here. Looks like we have Tide Hunter at bottom trying to farm up still. He doesn't have his Blink Dagger, he has his Mana Boots instead right now. Yeah, they're fighting at top though. Ancient Apparition just fell. Oh my. And there goes the Wraith King as well. And we have Silencer also going down. He's getting picks from his Jakiro. There he goes. Oh, Got the Orphan Edge Eye. Well. It looks like Neek's may go down here. If they can catch him. He's so low. Oh! Oh, He's gonna walk away. Huh. That Sand King does have his Blink Dagger though, so he's going to be quite effective for the time being. Yeah, in a lot of ways that's all he needs in the mid-game. Just a Blink and an Epicenter. It looks like we have Nature's Prophet going for a Necronomicon here. He has picked up the Staff of Wizardry and the Belt of Strength, so I assume that's what he's going for. Mm-hmm. That would really help his push, so... Yeah, I really they like a Necro. That. They're going to have some good push here. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to catch him out. This is not his day. Well, at least he shot first. <laughs> but, uh... It's not going to do much. Yeah, I'm going to check on the stream for a second. Somebody's reporting that it's down, so just give me one minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems like it should be up. All right. I don't know. I can look at it here quick. Thanks. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Them dire buildings are tough as nails. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. But with me. Trouble growing at Raven's bottom tower. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Looks like we're going to take out the mid tower here though. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sound. Nicely done. Now. They're trying to take out the Radiant's bot tower. They do fortify. There's a huge creep wave on it. They're not gonna be able to stop that. No. Dyer's Maybe they can deny it though. They're gonna try. They, nice. Uh, they get the deny on it. That's very good. Okay, let's see here. Radiant's top tower is hurting. Uproot and after that. Yeah, it's the same here. I'm fine. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Um. Well, I'll stop and restart the stream. Maybe that'll help. We get far enough in time, though. They're chasing him pretty hard. It looks like only Ogre Magi is chasing him now. I don't think he's going to catch up. Oh, and he's going to take that silencer down. Excuse me. Sand King is going to chase, they're TPing in to chase, but 
The Nix is here as well. That's not going to be good for them. Oh, and immediately the Ogre Magi takes down the uh, Tide Hunter. That multicast is doing work here. Okay, I'm back in. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, we have Sand King and Ogre Magi quite low here. Looks like Sand King's going to get out. Ogre Magi has his team with him. Okay, last talent. What did I miss? <laughs> uh, a couple fights, a couple people died. Not much really happening. Uh huh. Looks like they're making another push here, though. They might get that tower down. And there's a really good ice ball. Thank you. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Ninja Prophet's gonna start TPing out right away. It's going to get out before anything can happen. Mid tower's getting banged up. We definitely have Dyer on the offensive here, though. They have some nice wards out here that are giving them a lot of vision. There's not much that the Radiant can do to push back at the moment, either. Yeah, it looks like while I was out, they uh, really got a lot of map control. Yeah, and here's that last One tier last 2 tower going tower down the radiant. on the Radiant side. And so it looks like the heavier push on the Dyer is actually starting to win out here. Even if they can't have some really nice team fights, it looks like they're going to be able to push down the towers anyway. I wonder if that's a factor of how mobile both teams have been the whole game. It may be. And I mean, we have seen some really good team fights on each side. If you look, there's not much difference in the kill count. But mm -hmm. it looks like, even with the team fights, that we can't stop these pushes from happening. So the fact that they have a better inherent push than the other team is helping them win here. Radiant's top tower is hurting. Well, I guess the Dyer is looking for a rotation to push out the bottom lane. Yeah. Going to get their creeps. Mm -hmm. Nature's Prophet's been putting the pressure on constantly. Like since you were gone. Mm -hmm. He has really started doing his pushing. He's gonna try and TP out, but it's not gonna be fast enough. Ooh, yeah. He's gonna take him out. Gets caught by too many at once. Yeah. The rest of the Dyer is already grouped up, though. They're able to come defend, it looks like. I'm not sure they're going to have to. It looks like we have Radiant dispersing here. Looks like Wraithking does have his Desolator now. He's going for a BKB. He's getting farmed up, but I'm not sure that's going to help at this point. Yeah, he does have his Mithril Hammer. Yeah. He has that Ogre Club in his inventory already, so he's just waiting on the recipe. Mm hmm. That ward is there. And they got it. Alright, he's a bit far forward here, but he has his team to back him up if he needs it. Yeah, and he still has his reincarnate. Like... Yeah, he does. Looks like the Dyers are not going to stick around, excuse me. The Nature's Prophet's going to continue pushing this lane here. It's getting it really far pushed in. Yeah, he's got some backup too. I think they really want bottom lane to be their uh, their push lane next.
looks like the Radiant know where they're positioned at. They know they're in the jungle right there. They don't want to get caught out, so... We do have a split push coming down mid from Nature's Prophet. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's already going back up top here. I think you're right, just uh, putting on that constant pressure, keeping all the lanes pushed out. He's doing yeah. his job. Yeah, he's definitely made his money, so... He does have that Midas as well. Looks like they're gonna go on him a bit here. Yeah, I That's think he was hoping to. Him. Right. I mean, he's he's farmed at this point, but it doesn't mean he's not gonna be squishy compared to that Wraith King. That's that's very true. Especially like he ring of trained himself, but um, still got caught by that stun. And that was oh, enough yeah. of a uh, enough of a disruption in his teleporting ability that uh, he just got caught out. Yeah. There is a Roche attempt here. Looks like Razor is going for a Sanjinyasha here. Razor also picked up the mechanism. I'm not sure why Razor ended up getting the mechanism. Um, I think I've seen it as core on some of his builds. So it was probably just um, you know, following a traditional build order. I think there might have been a couple of better options on the team for a mech, but uh, as long as somebody got it, I guess. Yeah. Is about to go down here. Tough, Razor does pick it up. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, the Ancient Apparition, I haven't seen too many good Ice Blasts come out from him. Those really would help turning around some team fights, I think. Can also help stop some pushes. I mean, just ice balling the creep wave can take it down really fast. Mm hmm. That is a good way for him to pick up some farm late game when he's not doing anything else constructive. Especially with this Nature's Prophet, it's very easy to predict where his treants are going to go, at least. Maybe yes. not him, but you can at least get his treants and that huge creep wave like we have up top here. We have this. Oops. You have this giant creep wave here that he could take out with it. Yeah, that's true. And that, you know, the fact that it's global really helps out with that. You know, you don't have to actually go all the way up there to stop it. You can just kind of blast it and take it out from wherever you are. Yep. It really is a like unique Nix ability, is, too. Sorry. Yeah. Nick's chasing down the uh, ancient apparition. Yep, he's oh, yeah. Get him here. Silencer's there, but he's not going to be able to do anything. He. Silences him, but that's all that's going to happen. He's just going to walk away. Yeah, it just happened too fast. I mean, he killed him yeah. within a second of initiating. Yeah, he, he got what he came for. Mm -hmm. A lot of TP's coming out. Yeah, they, they want to stop this Nature's Prophet. He's being very, very slippery. They get him every once in a while, but that's not going to be enough. He pushes so fast. And then we have Wraith King grabbing his Blink Dagger now as well. So we have... We have action going on over here on the Wraith King. Wraith King does have his reincarnation. He's gonna need to pop his wand. He doesn't. He goes down. And the Tide Hunter goes down as well. So does the Nyx and the Takiro though. Yeah, that was a little rough. I have a feeling he was just stun locked and couldn't get his wand off. Oh, an ancient apparition ended up taking down the Nature's Prophet. Oh, how about that? Nature's Prophet got back to Fountain, but the, uh, he must have gotten killed by that tick. But it looks like they are going to take down 
down the ancient apparition. Yeah. The silence is getting away, but yeah, the ancient apparition goes down. He does. He stole so much damage. Yeah. It was 224. The ogre. Is he gonna get the ogre? Oh, he's gonna go down himself. Oh. The ogre is going to get away, it looks like. He's actually coming back in. Silencer is coming. This razor is just too fast for anyone to get away from that static link right now, though. The Sand King is trying to get that ogre. <laughs> he just can't quite reach. Flash is coming out on the uh, Razor here. They're gonna try and take him down. They got his Aegis already. Oh, he's so fast oh, with that he's unstable fast. current. He's so fast, yeah. He, they, no one can catch up. Uh, looks like Ogre got boots oh. on travel. He's going to. They got him. Yeah. They got him. Yeah. That blink. Nice blink. And we have uh, Nature's Prophet picking up his Desolator as well, and he's just going to melt those barracks with it. Yeah, there's a Chikiro and Wraith King fight. So we can't regen right now. Yeah, and he's gonna go down. The Nyx was watching, but he couldn't stop them himself. It looks like he only has the level 1 Dagon right now. Nope, he is fighting the Wraith King though. Gets stunned out. He has backup. Wraith King has the BKB on. He's gonna blink in, he blinks into the right spot, but doesn't actually get to stop him here. Ice ball coming out. Ooh, and Going it just catches. Does not get the Neeks. They really need it on the Neeks, though, because he's gonna get away now. Neeks also has a blink, it looks like. <laughs> All the blinks. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets blink. The poor shop has no blinks left. Yeah, excuse me, like I said, they're having some really good fights, but the push is just doing them in, it looks like. Yeah, ultimately when you're well, at an even trade, just the map control really yeah. weighs heavily. I mean, it's just that all of Radiant's time is spent pushing out these creep waves that Nature's Prophet's just going to push in in the same amount of time. Radiant's top tower is taking hits. And Wraith King's going to try and take out the Nature's Prophet here. Nature's Prophet's going to sprout, but he gets stunned back right away. Oh, unfortunately, he's not. He's got a stun the though. Trees. Oh. There, it's going to go down though. He gets him with that sandstorm. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can be seen by the Necro Creep. Oh no! Go down to the Necro Creep. Oh, Necro oh, Three. My. Oh, Necro Creep wins the game. That's Get right. More action going down at bottom here though. Uh oh. Oh my! Everyone's going down. And I don't even know what's going on. Chase down this tight under who's not going to be able to blink away. Does he have the double storm going on? That's a really loud storm. I thought it was a double <laughs> storm. It's not. And he Razor is about to finish his uh, BKB actually here. Yeah, he's already got the recipe in his stash. Yeah. Not sure what he's waiting on though. Uh, nothing. Oh, Courier's bringing it. And here they're going to take down this tower, it looks like. Or the Wraith King. Wraith King uses Reincarnate here. Here comes an Ice Ball, that'll be good. Whew. Very good. Nice. Got them both. He's stunned from the Wraith King, but they're going to be faster than him. Radiant's top tower's in bad shape. Yeah, looks like Razor was saving... Oh no, I thought he had a haste. He has like a little red trail. What's that from? Oh, that's from the blood box. Okay. thought it was a haste. He's just really fast, that's all. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile the creeps are just gonna push further and further into their base while they lose uh, their racks here. Meanwhile, where is the nature's prophet? Oh, he's dead. What did he... He must have died without me realizing. Yeah, he died at top just a second ago. Okay. Well then, I guess he can't push. Mm-hmm. But when he gets back up, they're gonna have a really hard time, because they're... Even when he's gone, they're having a hard time pushing these lanes out now. I think everyone's just slowly going in favor of the Dire. 
Yeah, that's what map control is going to do for you. When uh, when they have to turtle so much and fight the waves over and over again, um, they're just not getting the uh, farming experience they need to stay in the fight. Yeah. And it looks like we're waiting for Roche here, Jakiro is. Yeah, it's a little ways away though. Roche again. Looks like Jakiro's going for a pipe. They're gonna push down mid as a group, though. Yeah. Coming in the jungle here, they don't want him to immediately see them, but they do see them with that ward there. They have the the uh, ward right up on the hill here. And they're catching them out here. Ice ball comes out, gets the kill. His BKB's on. He's just very, very slow right now. That's not good for him. He can't catch up to anyone. He has to just walk at him at the moment. We have the Ravage come out here. Only gets the Razor. And Razor has his BKB now, so they're not going to be able to stop him in any way, really. They're going to be able to blink after him, but that's it. We have the Neeks here. He's looking to get that Wraith King. Pops the Reincarnation. Sanking comes in, misses the stun. He's going to blink out of it. Wraith King does get the stun, though. Here comes a nice Ice Ball. Ooh. He's going to get the kill again. Nice. <laughs> They're fighting under the tower, unfortunately, here, though, so that's going to be a problem. Razor comes back in. All full health again. Radiant loses the courier, meanwhile. Oh, man. And it looks like Nature's Prophet is taking this opportunity to push back at the Radiant base. That's not good because, uh,. Ancient Apparition isn't going to be able to defend that. Looks like he does actually take down the Nature's Prophet, though. Oh my. Yeah, double sure kill. Did that. Magic. All magic. Razor's going to go down with the Sandstorm. Oh my gosh, this fight recap is going to be crazy. Oh, they're still going at each other. Oh man. Wow. What was that? That Ancient Apparition ended up taking, I mean, Ancient Apparition MVP at this point. He just got a bunch of kills in a row. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> took down the Nature's Prophet by himself, seemingly. I'm not sure how he managed that. Uh, uh, That's ridiculous. <laughs> just pure magic. You look at the damage done. There was like uh, almost, what, 8k and 9k <laughs> damage yeah. on each side. That was insane. What a long fight. And Nature's Prophet also picks up a Blink Deck. So. <laughs> sure, why not? All the Blink Taggers. The game of Blink <laughs> That was a really good push, but they got nothing for it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they were under the tower, but they didn't do any damage to it. They couldn't take it down. So, I feel like, inevitably, even though they got some good kills, that the uh, Dire kind of won that in a way, because the Nature's Prophet did get to push for a while. I yeah, mean, I think you're right. He nearly took down the melee racks. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know. That's not boating well. Well, maybe it was enough to get the morale boost. <laughs> like, come on guys, we're still in this. We can still trade with them. And they are hidden kills for the time being, so... Looks like we're all going to smoke up and do a Roche on the Dire here, though. Oh, we have a disconnect coming out, it looks like. Uh-oh. Another pause. So many technical issues. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Looks like Ancient Apparition is going for a Hood of Defiance here. He hasn't really had chance to buy much. He's been buying all of the support items. Right. He's really their only support. Yeah, it's really a shame that he has had no opportunity to build towards Ags. I feel like he doesn't really come online until he gets it. Actually, it looks like Tidehunter has bought the mechanism and some dust here, so he he's helping support a little bit, but he also has things like his blade mail and blink dagger, so he clearly he has money for himself at the same time. But mm -hmm. that, that Ancient Apparition is playing a really hard five position here. Yeah, he is. Wow. 
Yeah, just now picking up the Ring of Health and the Ring of Regen. Yeah. And and even at that, the uh, the pipe he's probably going to build out of it is still a very team oriented item. So that's true. Sand King does have his eggs. Yep. Yeah, a lot of them have eggs too. Sand King, Silencer. Who else have it? Ogre Magi has one. Yeah. Three eggs out. Sure. So many blink daggers. <laughs> it's a nice set on the Wraith King. I like the uh, <laughs> I like the head hat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that one. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And wherever Silencer went, I like his weapon. I've got that one, the uh, fan blade thing. Probably can't see it yeah. from this angle, but it looks like a a weird shield. It's round and has spikes. Kind of nice. I can't actually see Silencer's items when I inspect. It shows Wraith King's items right now. Mm hmm. Might be because he's disconnected here. All right. And of course, Tide Hunter has an octopus on his head. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Always good when that happens. Wish I could see the rest of the items he's got here, but uh, not sure if he's got the uh, uh, little squiddles or. I really like the set I have for the uh, silencer. Yeah. I have the. I don't know how to describe it. It's um. It's like the one with the cool shield thing. It's like a. It actually has a two style shield. One is like an oval shield, and the other one is like a. Kind of a crescent-ish shield. Uh-huh. I like that one. Yeah, he has some good items. They really need to break up some of these other models, though. Would be nice if Jakiro had some items. Mm -hmm. We finally got that, uh, Triumph Protector set. Mm-hmm. Nice, but it's really expensive right now. So it's interesting. Jakiro has his um, auto cast up on his liquid fire. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I have played with auto cast on. What does that end up doing? Just whenever it's off cooldown, it casts again. On his next auto attack. Uh oh. Okay. It's how it used to work. I gotcha. Um, before it was an auto cast, it would just proc on every new auto attack when it was off cooldown. Oh. It meant huh. you had to wait to get it because otherwise it would push the lane. Sure. But now, now it's toggleable essentially, so it means you can get it whenever you want, and it's usually gotten pretty early now because it's great for harass. I gotcha. That's interesting. I wonder if I would still play with that on auto cast. I I would almost rather toggle it, um, just so I can make sure that I always put it on the buildings when I'm fighting and stuff. Yeah. Well, when you when you have it maxed, though, it's only a five second cooldown. Uh huh. So, so it's always there, kind of when you four want second it. Second cooldown, rather. Yeah. Gotcha. So you don't really have to wait for it ever, and it's it's pretty good because then it's kind of ignorable almost. You just you're all you're always putting it on stuff. It doesn't matter. Uh huh. And since it's AOE based, it doesn't matter really who you put it on as long as it's someone. Uh huh. Someone in the fight. Yeah. I gotcha. I wonder if Prophet means to hang on to this Midas at this point. I see um, it's off cooldown. It is, but he did just come back up and he went straight for Roche, so. Uh huh. So it's. It, you Maybe know, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna happen then. I think it's still useful to him. Yeah. He's trying to keep up with the Wraith King right now. Sure. And the Wraith King also has a Midas, which 
that he has been using the entire game. So. Mm -hmm. As you should. Yeah. So if, you know, as long as Nature's Prophet continues to use it, which he's been pushing lanes a lot, so he has a lot of opportunity to use it. Right. Excuse me, I think it's fine to keep, at least until he needs to get something to fill the slot. <laughs> Excuse That's me. true. He hasn't six slotted yet, so. Yeah. Glad to see picking up the Necro book, though. It's always nice to see a lot of people avoid it. It's not. Yeah. It's not hard to micro, you guys. It's. No, no, not at all. Harder than Treants. So. Absolutely, especially well, if you just click, drag, select everybody, and just throw them all wherever you want to oh, yeah. go. Yeah, or just uh, control click stuff. Sure. Unified unit orders. Really easy. I, or what I do, I actually use the uh, select all, select other, select hero. Ah, uh, yeah. Time. And so that makes it really easy, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fairly easy to do. You just have to know kind of what each one does a little bit more than anything else. Mm -hmm. there, it's just passive abilities, though, so it's not that hard. No, not really. And a lot of times, once you're at Necro 3, you really want them for the vision and the pushing ability anyway. So oh, yeah. I mean, you get them for the pushing ability most of the time anyway. Right. Although, I guess sometimes you get those nice plays where you kill a Sand King with them. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of Sand King, I just selected him, and <laughs> it's funny how when even when you're paused, he's just sitting there, like, doing his yeah, crazy little chant. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. That's, That's not, not good. good. Um, I'm really hoping I don't have to enforce a go. I'm watching time. Unfortunately, Unfortunately we, yeah, we can't just let it go. Yeah, there's like, no way to resume the game or anything, and we can't save it. So, yeah. oh, okay. Well, he got his internet back. I'm yeah. glad for that. But unfortunately, if his problems persist, and uh, I mean the time does accrue, so just for the audience, um, if he lags out or disconnects for another five minutes, um, we're we're gonna have to go. Uh, he, he we won't wait again for another ten minutes for him. Yeah, we're already over an hour. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes over an hour past, you know, scheduled time, realistically, so. Or, whatever, I said something. Sure. We're 20 minutes over scheduled time. There we go. So. Okay, back to the game. Yeah. <laughs> so many issues. So back to Roche here, and he's falling pretty fast. Yeah, they dedicated a lot of people to him. Oh god. And now AA. Okay. Wow. <laughs> everyone just needs to get Google Fiber. Yes. So everyone move to those two cities that Google Fiber exists in. We'll be all good. <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, he's relogging. Okay. <laughs> so many connection problems today.
rolling blackouts. <laughs> what can I say? Implying that any of us have the ability to be on LAN here. <laughs> yeah, right? How nice would that be? Okay, let's yeah. go. Let's, okay, so next tournament is LAN, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Here we go. We have people oh, rushing for the ages. There we go. Have you ever clicked on Roshan and uh, seen that he actually holds Aegis in his inventory? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I never noticed that before. He's doomed to have it stolen from him. That's right. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh oh. Lights in the jungle. Around here. What's, what's it's all over. <laughs> what? At mid. Okay, we're chasing the Neeks. They're looking for a fight from the jungle. Nature's Prophet's just pushing. As you do. And he's, yeah, he's still using that Midas. Okay, good. So. He's just melting creep waves now, though. He has his Desolator, that's all he needs. Yeah, I'd still like to see a Maelstrom or something, though. Towers hits. I mean, it, yeah, I guess that would be good. I I mean, usually a good choice on him is the Scythe of Ice. I mean, he even has the yeah. Tower. Action going on here. Nice Ravage coming out. Everyone gets stunned. They reveal the Neeks. Ice Ball coming out. That's going to kill the Neeks. Nice. Everyone else is low. Running away. Oh, we're dying. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Shakira's going down. I missed that one. Radiance mid rags. Didn't make it. Radiance mid towers getting banged up. Yeah, even though, I, I mean, I've been saying that they're spending all their time pushing lanes out, and that's kind of crippling them at the moment, but one one good team wipe where they can have a free push, and they could really turn this around. They have the ability to take down that Ancient very quickly. So, you know, they, it's not over by any means, but... That's true. It is definitely a huge hindrance to have to push these lanes out. And you can see they push them back out pretty quickly now, so if they had the chance, they think they would. Everything is quite deep here. Ez is reincarnate, but that's really risky, I think. He's yeah. taken for the push here, though. Sand King is not going to be so lucky. He looks... Yeah, he may go down here. Oh, uh -huh. they're, not, they're not wanting to commit to it. Sand King is slow, though. Yeah, he's oh, no. down here. Oh, because that multicast. And here comes the reincarnate. Oh, and oh he's but he's in a bad three. position. But he's going down. There's the chase. The chase run, here. Tidehunter, run! No, Seven. don't pop up in the air! Who has the uh. Yules? Ogre has the Yules. Yes. And uh, this Razor still has the Aegis to use, too. So they're going to go full in here. They're going to try and push that straight down. The Ancient Emperor That's right. Will be able to do anything here comes the GG call. The yep. I think that was the right call. So, uh, one thing I'm actually noticing here. Did we not mark this as a best of three tournament? The thing, little thingies aren't here. Um, not sure. It's not a... Oh, well. We can do it for the next one, no problems. Sure. The game is safe to leave.